solar facts. These are very interesting uh, in nature. The sun is very a large sphere of very hot gases. The heat being generated by various kinds of fusion reactions. Its mass is uh, three lakhs thirty-three thousand four hundred times uh, more than the Earth. And occupies nearly 99.86 percent of the entire solar system. Now we can imagine the role of sun on the universe. Mainly, the sun consists of hydrogen having 78 percent, and the others are 20 percent helium and 2 percent of other elements. 90 percent of the solar energy is coming from its uh, core. Uh, that is from 0 to 0.23 radius, and sun density is uh, approximately 10 power 5 kg per meter cube. Its diameter is uh, around 1.39 into 10 power 6 kilometers, while that of Earth is 1.27 into 10 power 4 kilometers. The mean distance between these two is 1.496 into 10 power 8 kilometers. Although sun, the sun is large. It subtends an angle of only 32 minutes. That is 0.2, 0.53 degrees on the Earth's surface. It is because of a large distance between the Sun and the Earth. Thus, the sunbeams received from the Sun on the Earth uh, is almost parallel. We are assuming the sunbeams are parallel in nature. The solar constant is. Uh, uh, 1.367 kilowatt per meter square. This is also called as uh, extraterrestrial radiation. Uh, the solar energy received outside the atmosphere is called as extraterrestrial radiation or solar constant. The Earth revolves around the Sun in an elliptical orbit, having very small eccentricity, and with the Sun at one of its forces. Consequently, the distance between the Sun and Earth varies. A, a little bit, uh, and though uh, because of these variations in a year, the extraterrestrial radiation or the flux also changes. The power from the sun intercepted by the earth is approximately 1.8 into 10 power 11 megawatts. It is many thousands of times larger than the present consumption rate on the earth. Thus, the solar energy and supply all the present and future energy needs of the world. We can supply it will meet the future and the current uh, demands of the Earth. Sun-Earth relations. Sun-Earth relationship or the solar geometry is used to establish the solar radiation. Are to estimate or predict the solar radiation falling on horizontal or tilted surfaces. To collect maximum solar energy by solar collector, it, it should be oriented towards the sun. For that uh, information, the t, uh, theta is required. The theta means if the theta is an angle between the Incident beam of flux I and uh, normal to the plane of surface. Then the equivalent flux falling on normal to the surface is given by I cos theta. Theta if theta is zero, the cos theta becomes one. That is the maximum value. The simplified uh, relations of sun-earth geometry is shown in the mathematical form of the equation. The cos theta is equal to the function of is the function of uh, uh, delta, omega, phi, beta, and gamma. It shows that theta is a function of all these phi angles. Theta delta is the declination, the angle made by line joining sun and earth to equatorial plane. Omega is our angle measured from sunrise to sunset. Phi is the latitude. Uh, it gives uh, a latitude of the place. Beta is the tilt angle of collector to horizontal surface. Gamma is the surface azimuth angle. That is the horizontal projection of surface normal measured to south line. 
delta can be calculated from the given date uh, w that the hour angle can be calculated from the given time that is the watch time phi that is the uh, latitude can be calculated from the place or the location beta or the tilt angle is from the given orientation of the surface so finally the gamma is the surface azimuth angle can be calculated from the given, given orientation of the so inclined surface. Continuation of the sun earth relations. First, let us consider an inclined surface. It is tilted to horizontal surface and amount uh, is equal to beta. In general, the beta is equal to the latitude of the place. So that uh, on average base, uh, we can get maximum amount of solar radiation on the surface. See the green line is normal to the surface considered and the blue line is a vertical line is also called as zenith line to the horizontal surface at the ground. And consider the yes, solar beam falling on this inclined surface shown in the red color. Now as per the definition in the previous uh, slide the incident angle is the angle between normal to the surface to the sun beam and coming to the theta z that is called as uh, also called as zenith angle is the angle between the zenith or the vertical to the sun beam for a special category if uh, uh, beta is equal to 0 it can be considered the theta becomes theta z now let us discuss about this uh, horizontal angles. Take a projection of this normal to the surface on ground. This is shown in the dotted line. And take a south line. This is the line joining the north pole and the south pole. On the ground or the horizontal surface, the angle between the horizontal projection of normal to the surface to the south line is called as surface azimuth angle is gamma. Now similarly, we can take the horizontal projection of sunbeam or by shadow effect on the ground. Now the angle between the horizontal projection of the sunbeam to the south line is called as solar azimuth angle. For a special case, if beta is equal to theta z and gamma is equal gamma s, yes, what happens? Let us imagine. The figure also shows one more angle, this is a supplementary angle. And alpha is also called as altitude angle. This altitude angle can be calculated from 90 minus theta z, that is from the Zenith angle. Now, as per my uh, question, if theta becomes theta z, gamma becomes gamma z, there is a two orientations of the tracking. One is a horizontal rotation, the second one is a uh, vertical rotation. The horizontal rotation means uh, azimuth angle tracking, the gamma becomes gamma s yes, by rotating this inclined surface. Similarly, in the vertical tracking that is the zenith angle tracking systems, the beta can be adjusted so that it is equal to the theta z. Then finally, by uh, adjusting these two tracking axis that is the uh, double axis tracking systems, finally the normal to the surface is passes through the sun beam that is theta becomes 0. The cos 0 degrees is equal to 1. Then we can collect maximum amount of solar radiation on the inclined surfaces. This is the basic uh, principle involved in the two axis tracking systems of the inclined